Now let me first show you how I would light myself using natural light. Now when shooting during daytime I use the window as my key light. Because of the light coming through the window it diffuses the light a little bit making it softer. Depending on the time of day the light might be too harsh coming through the window so you want to make sure to use a diffuser that softens the light. Now it could also be that the intensity of the light is too low so what I would do is use an artificial daylight source to increase the intensity. I like having contrast to give more shape and depth to my face. So what I do is I use a negative fill, which is the black structure you see, taking away the light, increasing the shadows. Now that is a five in one reflector by Newer and there are a lot of ways to use this to control the light. If I wanted to, I could also fill in the light on the shadow side by bouncing the light back, reducing the shadows. Natural light looks just really nice and it's free to use. So look around in your apartment and find a light source you can work with. Now if you don't have the option to light your studio base with natural light, that is fine. You can definitely use studio lights, but whenever I can, I try to use natural light because it looks beautiful. Now if you can afford artificial light, then I highly recommend you get some. I normally use the Aperture 120D with the light dome. A cheaper option would be the newer LED 480 bicolor light that I would recommend that runs on cable but can also be powered by Sony NP batteries. Bicolor light means that you can set the temperature of the light either day or tungsten light. Now the good thing about this LED light is that it won't get hot and you can control the intensity of the light. Now what's not so good about it is the output level since it's bicolor and uses half of the light bulbs. Now for controlled setups or studio setups that would just work fine. I also bought a diffuser for it to additionally soften the light. Now let me show you my setup using studio lights instead of natural lights. Now when I don't want to use the natural light I make sure to close the window blind so that it is pitch black inside. I then turn on my key light making sure to set it to daylight temperature which is 5500 Kelvin because my camera's white balance is manually set that way and I place it around a 45 degree angle towards my face. I keep the light close to my face to get a softer lighting. Remember that the bigger the source of light is, the softer light gets. The soft box helps the light spreading it all over the surface and if you put it even closer to your face, it will get even softer. Now I use the monitor in the background that acts a little bit as a backlight but also function as a practical light, making the background look more interesting and giving it depth. For practical lights, I also use these fairy lights over there. I actually forgot to turn them on. And of course, also these LED stripes with the smart bulb that is connected to Alexa. Now I can change the desired color and always have a different background if I wanted to, but I usually leave it that way. It creates a nice ambient to my video. And this is my usual setup, a key light and practical lights in the background. Now you can also use a basic three-point lighting setup where besides having a key light you would additionally include a fill light and a backlight uh, making yourself stand out more. Uh, let me show you how it would look like. So there is a backlight up here and a fill light to this side and helps fill the shadows giving my face less contrast and making it look less moody as well. Now the backlight up here creates a rim around me which helps separate me from the background. Now let me show you how it would look when I turn each light on separately. So this is just with the key light on, this with the fill light, now this with the key light, fill light and backlight. Alexa, turn on studio Okay. with the practical lights in the back. It's important to know that you don't have to use the three-point lighting techniques. 
it's up to you to use the light in creative ways. It's good to start with one light and work your way from there. I would highly recommend focusing on one light and investing in a good one. You don't want to use cheap lights because they usually don't output accurate colors. So that is it guys. Hope you got something out of this. And if you did, please leave a like and let me know in the comment section below what you think of this video.